Hello, we are commentating this match between Didistra and Gabriel Hansberry for J League. I am joined by Hello Andy 007. Hello, thank you for having me, Rosy Rose. Looking forward to a fun match. So looks like they are playing base only, so yeah, looks like a base only, but that's all right. Still, uh, still should be some interesting kingdom. So, what do we have going on here? So, it looks like they're only trashing here is money lender. Uh, definitely, I want some of those. Yeah, Council probably just one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree. One money lender. Council room militia is also a nice energy. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, you can, even though there's no estate thinning and the copper thinning is a little slow, um, it still looks like you can build really big here. Um, at least double province, just throne and council room, just make things work really, really well um, for engines. And then you, there's no downside to the council room, so you can just play the militia at the end. So I would expect, you know, uh, maybe like a lot of merchants a silver, and then just some thrones and council rooms, and then just keep building and building. Would be... Yeah, I mean, of course it does have the downside where you're letting your opponent, like, get through the cards, but I think it's still worth it, because, like, council room is your only draw other than library. Yeah, I mean, you'll give them the opportunity to find the right three-card hand, probably, but I still think, like, Library draw is just not going to work here um, with a draw to X deck. I mean, I know Festival Library is kind of a, a base meme, mm -hmm. uh, but just without being able to get rid of the estates and the money lender once they're done, that's already four of your seven cards um, that you could draw up to. Yeah, for sure. So it looks like they opened silver money lender and festival nothing i mean on the five two i might just go for money lender honestly yeah i could see money lender i could also just see like early council room maybe because getting the plus buy in the draw early might make sense um i don't really like festival it's just kind of a fancy silver at the start and i don't really think you need festivals at all in this deck I mean, maybe you add them later once you have a lot of throne rooms, you know, like throne a festival. Um, but you get plenty of buys from council room and economy from merchants and silvers. Yeah, I uh, agree. Festival so, is kind of like an expensive village um, that gets you. That, that you don't so really need. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, so looking through it, they're playing pretty quickly. So looking through it, some of the buys. Um, yeah, Gabriel looked like they were doing pretty well, but then the early gold seems a bit unnecessary and did a strip going pretty hard on the festivals. Yeah, yeah, uh, in the early and then, province. And then the libraries, I'm still looking at like turn five catching up. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, some more, a lot of golds. Um, so, Gabriel looks like they're doing a pretty basic money strategy. But yeah. Didistra did pick up the council room and the militia. So, you know, I would expect that even though Didistra's behind, um, picking up council room and militia is giving me an indication that, like, they're trying to build to something. And I think there's plenty of time to build here. Um, like, at the end, you could even, like, slam guard <laughs> late um, if you needed to catch up. Like, if your opponent got six provinces. Um, you can really add a lot of cards to this deck to make yeah. gardens potentially viable at the end. Um, yeah, but I like think it, these, like you shouldn't be provincing yet, for sure. Yeah, so ST Carl, so yeah, it's base only. Presumably, uh, neither of them have a, a sub, which is fine. Um, but yeah, I would expect, like... Building up big, getting a bunch of merchants, a bunch of throne rooms. You know, you're starting three estates, money lender, a lot of throne rooms and council rooms. 
and some festivals and some treasures. Like, you could build up like a 50 card deck at the end to get five point gardens, you know, without it being like that unreasonable just because there's so many buys and a lot of cards that aren't really hurting your deck. So I think that's kind of the direction I would go, especially if my opponent's greening pretty early. Is yeah, aim to definitely. just build an enormous deck um, and go from there. Yeah, and I honestly like don't like either of their decks at this point. Um, yeah, the duchy was like, I mean, yes, it was, it was behind, but I would the thing is, like, Gabriel is just kind of destroying their deck. Um, yeah. yeah, Duchy is not not helpful. Who has the library? library. Gabriel yeah. has the library, which is basically just going to be like a, you know, draw back up after you get hit by a militia. And then there's Stred as the council room. So, yeah, I think the, the Duchy was incredibly premature. Like, if my opponent's going money... Like, I can build until they're at seven provinces here, like, without really worrying that much. You know, yeah, if I know they can only, like, single province. Yeah, and then just this province and village, like, yeah, I don't like that. I'd want too early for province. I'd go for, like, probably council room, throne room there. Um, yeah, just keep adding council rooms and throne rooms. Um because again, if if Didastrup wasn't taking provinces, they'd still be at four. So that would give you like three more turns to build. Um, assuming that Gabriel hits province every turn, which is happening pretty consistently. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd expect if my opponent gets seven provinces, they'd be at 45 points, which means I just need like a province and all the gardens and the gardens to be worth like four each, which doesn't yeah. seem that unreasonable if you uh -huh. built really hard. Yeah, and then just now, Gabriel made this decision like it, to not play a money lender. I don't like that. I think you want to get rid yeah, of Yeah, I don't think it'll make a difference in the end because um, they might just hit it here. They have a lot of gold, so they'll probably draw gold. Oh, well, um, I guess they missed yeah, I really hope they don't get a duchy. The duchy is just really unnecessary. I want. Uh, I, I'd get duchy for Gabriel. I mean, they're going pretty hard on money anyways, and I, I think duchy was reasonable for Gabriel there. It's mostly that like they are they didn't need the duchy. The district was already like they were far like Gabriel's just far enough ahead that even if the district got province, it would wouldn't win, like, province that she would tie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so did a strut going with a duchy there. And Gabriel going to get the duchy here, and did a strut can't respond with the province. So, I mean, the, the only VP that's available left is going to be gardens, but I it doesn't look like it's going to be viable. I mean, I still want to get a council of for for Um yeah, yeah, well, I got they found their gold, so they'll hit eight here. All right, so Gabriel going a bit money more hard on the money, um, and getting the win in game one. Uh, but yeah, it definitely looks like you could have there was a lot of building capable to be done here. Yeah, um, I think that's the thing that Jay leaves that like they just all green too early, uh, don't build enough. Uh, yeah. Uh, in the matches channel. Covering this in case anyone wants to watch and listen. All right, so that was a that was a pretty fast game. Um, what do we got going on for this next one? There's Money Lender, another council room game. Here, Festival is the only village, so I would actually get it. Um, lots of fibers. Didastrut is, I'd say for Didastrut, I want a 
remote festival opening. Um, yeah, that seems reasonable. Again, they both had the five too. I think. Oh yeah, they both had. Yeah. Festival I'd say could be festival. fine. I'm, I'm not really sure how much the moat's doing for you. I mean, um, it's some draw. Um, and then... Yeah, I, yeah. I think I'm. I'm mainly just concerned about the terminal space. So maybe it's just like. I don't know. I mean, it's either nothing, like, council room, council room nothing. nothing. Um, but yeah, I think ultimately your draw, you want like a festival council engine room engine going. So yeah, that's like what I think. They, met, so, they both got moat and then they got mine and lab. The lab is fine. I don't like the mine. Yeah, I want to be. I mean, mine, I guess, isn't the worst card in the world here, but I'd rather just use Money Lender to get rid of the coppers and then a bandit to add and payload later. Um, yeah, it takes I a mean, lot of plays to go from, you know, building your coppers up to golds uh, using mines. I'd much rather play like a Money Lender and a bandit because the bandit also gets an attack and the Money Lender thins a little faster. Yeah, for sure. I think if mine, if if Bandit wasn't on the board, I'd be a bit more okay with the mine. Um, but you know, all things considered, Money Lender Bandit just looks better than playing mine twice to get basically the same effect. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they're both. Uh, so getting some labs. Labs are good because draw is good. Labs perfectly good draw here um, compared to you know festival money a council room being the only other draw. So perfectly fine getting some labs. That makes the deck a little more consistent um, to have some labs in there as opposed to just relying on festival council room where like you need those two cards in your starting hand in order to kick off. So sprinkling in some labs I think makes makes good sense. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like Gabriel's going with the labs. Um, they each have a money lender, which is good. We want some festivals in those decks. They they need the draw. Um, or actions really. Um, the draw. Yeah. I think they need the council room. Um, like. Even yeah, oh, easy. that's way way too early for the province. I would have yeah. probably added like a market or a festival, something with plus buy there for Gabriel. Yeah, I want I I want a festival for the deck. All right, did a straight in the festival, so good there. So adding some village, adding some buy, that all seems good. Um we didn't really mention it, but on the last two kingdoms there was Vassal. I just think Vassal's like not that great of a card if you can't clear out your make your deck really action heavy, um, which these decks haven't really been able to do even yeah. in, in the most ideal case. I mean, at base only, you really only want that um, want Vassal when you're playing it with like Sentry. Right? Yeah, or if you have a, a, just a completely clean deck where you know you can play Vassals. So did a straight get in a market, that's good. So I think um as well, did a strutter both players. I really want to just add you know, labs, council rooms, festivals, markets. Just like click on the good fives. And then once you have deck control, I could see adding in a bandit. Um, yeah, I agree. I'd say like I'd say probably you go with festival council for your drawing deck and then you put in a bandit. Yeah, and again, with, with some labs in there, too. Labs are just really good, draw consistent, non-terminal draw here. Uh, buying gold's just awful there. Like, if you want gold, get a bandit. It's, I agree. Like, it's, I it's, think, I don't think they're ready better. for, I mean, I assume you need to get bandit, like, before you're running out of offers, but, like, when you trashed your board to last copper, like, I'd say, or I guess that's not true. If you have festivals, you don't need to worry about that. So Yeah, like as long as your deck has five dollars in it, you can get the bandit when you need to. Um yeah. and festivals at the village, I feel like that's pretty um Yeah. So you can get the bandit, but you shouldn't be adding any treasures to these decks 
other than like if they opened with a uh you know if they didn't have the five two you know you could have gone like a silver money lender or something like that but you shouldn't be adding any treasures to these decks other than with bandit i don't think i agree with that you're just really efficient and it even if it wasn't an attack like it's still really nice and efficient. Um, they both they they both have way too many moats. Um, again, yeah, it, yeah. even on the five two, I was hesitant to open with a moat because it's still not technically draw. Um, because you have to play at festival, which is a non drawing village, in order to play the moat. So I think like moats being at zero or zero moats gain could be perfectly reasonable, just because it's not actually draw on the board and defending against the bandit attacks not like that important. Yeah, I agree. Because even if you both have a bandit in your deck, then it's not a huge deal of whether your girls get trashed. Yeah, and it's going to miss most of the time anyways. Alright, so Dinistrate yeah. got, got the bandit, so then not quite going about the build the way I wanted to, especially with Council Room still at 10, but I think Dinistrate's got a closer idea of what I was thinking about. Um, um, I would play the moat before that bandit. Um, just yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it wasn't going to help either way, but yeah, it would have given more. Uh, usually you want to play your payload. Uh, payload terminals last. Um, although, I mean, they knew they weren't going to have another village down there, but still. Um, again, that, that was my main concern with the moats. So, just as a general rule, um, play yeah, your... Gabriel doing pretty well in the draw here, mainly with the five labs. Uh, the five labs are just doing a lot of good work. Um, I would definitely would have added a bandit and not buy gold silver there. I agree. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, and Ditto really needs to keep building, not at the province there. You, you know, at this level, you get a lot of... Uh, a lot of, oh no, my, my opponent got a province. I have to get the province now, um, which, especially in base-only kingdoms, there's usually a lot of time available to build. Uh, a little less on this one than last one, because um, last one, like, you had gardens, so you had plenty of time to catch up. Here, not quite as uh, much, and the engine isn't quite as powerful here, but you still have plenty of time to build here and get a good deck. Like, it's turn 15. I think if they were building a bit more efficiently, you could have a deck that's pretty close to double provincing by this point, um, if you were building more efficiently. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, they both have a provincing deck. I don't know if either of these decks are ready for province. Like, I want to be drawing deck before I start provincing. Yeah, Gabriel is pretty close to drawing deck. They have a lot more. I don't know what the lab split is, but I think it's like 7-3. Yeah. So Gabriel just has a lot more draw. Um, lab is being the first pile. Uh, makes perfect sense. Um, so, like, that's reasonable, but I really want to just add festivals and council rooms, festivals, council rooms. Uh, Dittestrut has a pair of each, but I think I think you're going to need more than that. And yeah, yeah. with with the moats, the more I think about it, the more I think you just skip on the moat and don't don't even buy it on the opening, just because the terminal space is is weak. Yeah, that's fair. But I, I get the argument for taking it. Like it does give you a bit of benefit on turn three four um, by giving you a little more draw. So the tempo boost on turn three, four versus the long-term downside of having in your deck, I think is, I could be swayed either way. Oh, I feel like really huge work. Um. All right. So let's just like add festivals and then add, no, play the band. No, yeah. <laughs> the, the moat's just going to draw dead. It doesn't do anything for you. Yeah. Play, like, my general rule of thumb is, like, if you have one action left and an option between a draw and a non-draw, you almost always want to play your non-draw action. Yeah, unless you're in a really desperate situation where, like, oh, I have to find some treasure here and I have a lot in my deck. Like, 
but we're certainly not at that point right now. Um, adding market was reasonable for, for Dennis Strut, um, but I really just want to add festivals and council rooms at this point. Yeah, I think this is a double festival here, not a province. Yeah, yeah I mean, more. Gabriel's probably in a pretty commanding position just by winning the lab split by so much. Um, Yeah, this is a devil festival. I mean, maybe a province is feasible given that your opponent is provincing, but I mean, you sometimes you just have to build. Even. Yeah, so Gabriel won the lab split 7 3, which just gives so much more potential to this deck. Um, I probably wouldn't play the moat here. Uh, I mean, that was a good draw. Um, it got a draw, but there is a lab down there, so I was concerned about drawing the lab dead. Um, but, but yeah, you know, maybe I they mean, figured. I doubt they were doing much death tracking. Like, I probably wouldn't have done it, but, like, I suspect that. Yeah, I didn't know what all the cards down there were, but I knew there was a lab down there, so I was a little concerned about just drawing the lab dead, and knowing you're going to start next turn with a lab in it is kind of nice. But, you know, there was enough treasure in the deck that maybe that was fine. Yeah. I don't know what I would have done. Uh, not like... I have to factor in that, like, I don't think the players in this game are actually deck tracking. So yeah, I, I highly doubt it. Um, or shuffle managing. I don't think I would have triggered that shuffle for Didastrut. I think this is a pretty bad shuffle coming in right yeah, now. I agree. Yeah. Um, because Didastrut played their festival, so now like they're not gonna be able to play this council room. Or yeah, they can, I mean, but it's going to draw dead. Play it, and then you're only going to find... might actually be a shuffle I want to trigger. I, or five this right? Yeah, the next one's probably okay to trigger, but, I mean, you're in a tough spot either I way. I think I kind of want to play the council room just to trigger the shuffle. Yeah, it's just you get in that awkward balance where, like, your draw misses one shuffle and your fest and your village misses the other shuffle, and you're sort of like back and forth with them not aligned with each other, and like they just never find each other again. But yeah, Gabriel's very rapidly approaching half of VP. Uh, I definitely would have bought a duchy there. Um, like we're certainly in a situation where Didastrit could win on a good turn. I don't think the turn gonna happen but it certainly could have happened um, yeah uh I think to get 15 dollars and three buys unlikely but theoretically possible i do not like getting another vassal there. yeah the vassals are just gonna be missing a lot here and this is gonna be yeah this is in hand all right so another win for gabriel um Again, I think just the key here was getting a lot more labs. Like, lab's a good card, it draws. Um, you know, there's other draw here too, but lab's certainly a good draw to have in the deck. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, um, Gabriel's up to zero. Uh, in the, uh, they've only been playing for 20 minutes. Uh, these are going to be a fast match, I guess. Yeah, certainly. And I think with base kingdoms, you tend to get faster matches. Um, the yeah. cards are a lot less complex. There's a lot less, you know, really you know, intricate decision-making to be had. Um, but there's still things to be doing, like tracking your deck, um, watching your shuffles, things that you might be doing a little more intuitively or otherwise not. All right, we got the uh, Chapel Witch. Ooh, so, yeah. So, I yeah, mean, I would... Go ahead. Which seems difficult here, given that Chapel's around. I would still get the Witch. Um, it's still annoying for your opponent to uh, deal with them. So I think Witch Chapel is reasonable for Didastrut. Um, 
I might go with the lab, with lab chapel. Um, yeah, lab should... chapel could work too. Um, you know, if, if they collide, you're kind of sad. But especially if your opponent skips chapel, then like that would probably seeing that Gabriel skipped chapel, I'd be a lot more inclined if I did a strut. Yeah, to get now that. Once your opponent skips chapel, you want to get witches. Um, yeah. And so, and then the lab there makes perfect sense. So this this has been some pretty great great draws for the strut so far. But yeah, um, for Gabriel, I'm not huge on the witch really. Um, because yeah, did the strut's going to be thin enough to be able to handle them pretty well? So trash everything here for sure, and then um. You know, we're gonna have to think like did the strut's almost is like already basically drawn deck. Um yeah, I'd probably like play the lab and the witch and buy another lab for did the strut here. Um like you don't even need to play the chapel now. Yeah, and that's a late like, chapel you're already for drawing you. deck. I mean the late chapel, like it does like it means that now Didistra has a turn for which that are going to be too useful in their deck, but like I still think you open chapel um and like on free markers like there's no requirement to like spend all the coins you have. Yeah, and the and the witches still draw. Um so did a strut mm -hmm. not trashing everything there I disagreed with. Um I maybe wouldn't have trashed the entire hand, but I, I would have trashed more than just the estate there, I think. Because, again, they're back to not drawing the deck completely. So probably, like, lab throne room here. No, 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 no province, no province. Yeah. I probably would have gone lab throne room there, work on throning the festival or throne the witch, uh, yeah, things I like that. Just, lab. like, keep building, building, building. Add labs, festivals, throne rooms, merchants, cards like that. Uh, maybe bandit later. The draw is not incredible. Well, I guess Throning Lab is a Throning I mean, Witch will get you the draw, so. I mean, once you have, like, draw, I would definitely add Festival for Buys and then a Bandit for Money, but yeah. get your draw down first. But Throning Lab is some pretty good draw. Yeah. Yeah, so you could probably support... Uh, the bandit adding golds later. Um, so probably, uh, no, no, not, well, I guess five if you get a lab is fine. So I, uh, I don't know. Really I guess bandit, I think. But I think if Didistret had gone lab thrown on the turn where they got province, then I'd be more okay with the bandit right now. But I think their deck would be under pretty good control if they had done that. Yeah, I just want to the like, lab. Lab festival and throne room, just like repeatedly now for Didistrut. Just like click only those three cards. Uh, maybe merchant as well. Yeah, lab I mean, festival, merchant, throne room. I just don't like think click merchant those cards here. In if you any have order. like three extra coins, like that's the only situation where I really want merchants on the field. Um, yeah, yeah, just as Didistrut, just like continually click. Festival, lab, merchant, throne room, and really like any order, <laughs> and I think you're fine. And this is a great trashing for Gabriel. Yeah. And trash and so, a copper and so, double estate curse. <laughs> yeah. And then add a lab. Um, wait, what? And trash the curse. the curse. I'm... That's really weird. Um, like. Like, this is, like, the main card I'd want to trash there. Um, yeah. And, I mean, again, the chapels are able to keep up with the witch curses at this point. The main thing about the curse was just the curses is the tempo boost at the beginning. Like, forcing your opponent to have to draw the curses is, like, a negative lab in their deck for <laughs> each curse they have to draw up until they trash it. So just, like, the fact that they can trash them doesn't mean that the witch isn't still giving them some tempo hit. So hopefully this will be trashing a trip curse after mm. and you can buy a throne. Yeah, that seems pretty straightforward. 
All right, so Devastra in the lead, but again, these two provinces are really, really hurting the deck. Like, Devastra's deck could just be... If these provinces were, like, lab, lab, throne room, throne room, like, the deck would just be on, like, supercharged at this point. Yeah. And, like... Gabriel's definitely posing a comeback. It's I would still give Didistrat pretty good odds. Like the five two open seemed really strong. Um, I mean five two is just generally strong if Chapel's on board. Um, yeah, I didn't like the bandit. I wanted a lab for Gabriel there. Yeah, I haven't been tracking quite as well how well Gabriel's drawing. So we'll see. Assuming they throw in the lab, we'll get a better idea of how much draw this deck has. Maybe the deck's drawing better than I thought. So you can play the bandit here to get the gold in the shuffle, because you know you're going to draw it anyways. Um, so play the bandit. Order. You play the bandit first so you can drop the gold. Yeah. And oh, they still the have lab. the lab, too. Yeah, I mean, like, you they don't, don't have draw the, the lab. I don't understand it. that. I think you still can. Yeah, so get get a festival here. Like you absolutely have to add by here. Gabriel's gotten the deck under control. Yeah. Um Didastrit's deck like still has coppers in it. Still Didastrit, even with the, the earlier chapel, hasn't gotten the deck under control. Like this was the issue with not trashing all the coppers when you could for Didastrit. Like these coppers are super inefficient for the deck to deal with. Like Gabriel is just going for labs, which I, I mean, I think you definitely want to like keep going with labs and start for denial, but I still think you want to improve your deck. A. Gabriel, like, has to add a festival here, just like absolutely has to. They're gonna have eleven money, um, and one buy. And you're gonna keep adding up um, gold. Yeah, it's going to keep adding three payload every turn. It's like you need a festival here for buy, and then you need another festival the next turn for buy, and then you probably need another festival the turn mm -hmm. after that to like add buy to keep keep up. Um, yeah, you want to build I mean, you your double province too. here, not keep single provincing and like having the money for double province, but not the buy. Yeah, Gabriel's going to have like sixteen money here. Um, and if they had added festival, they'd have 18 and two buys. It's like they'd be able to double rather than like province and then province across two turns. If they had added a festival last turn, then they could just double this turn. Well, I guess they lost one of their golds. Uh, or did they just not get the gold? What? No, they did. I think not. I don't think you lost. Something happened. It was Didastret who lost a silver. Oh, okay. Well, regardless. Yeah, no, sorry. My count was right. Gabriel, uh, they just hadn't played the bandit yet. Yeah, Gabriel had 16 and one by there. So if they had gotten the festival the previous turn, they'd still have the same number of provinces. Um, but now they'd have another buy, so they could double this turn coming up, too. So I'm not quite sure if it was enough, but certainly getting the festival would have improved Gabriel's chances because yeah. now like, there's just no way you can catch up like yeah like I think the district has this yeah even though Didistrat's looking at a pretty rough dud right here like Gabriel is gonna have to add duchies one at a time to catch up and it's just not gonna happen without plus bar yeah I mean at this point like as, Didist as Gabriel I want to add in um a festival here just so you have a better chance at catching up yeah you definitely need buy and with the throne rooms that effectively gives you three buys um well that's fancy resigning i mean it was probably over but with gardens there there was still a chance to catch up from a deficit if you see your opponent greening early like any uh any board where there's alt VP, you really have to keep in mind that early provincing can be significantly punished. Um, even if there's no alt VP, <laughs> early provincing can be punished, but especially if there's alt VP. Yeah. So 
So, all right, uh, nice win, did the strut. Chapel is a good open. Um, we'll see where it goes from here. All right. Another we'll chapel, here. lots of thrashing, I think. I think this is actually all uh, all the base when they trash all the good base when they trashes. Yeah. Oh, uh, did a strike can on. open chapel century, which is just like completely crushing. <laughs> yeah, I want to open probably chapel militia. Um, yeah, I think that's like all you really can do. I definitely chapel century here. Get thin as quickly as possible, and then probably you still need to be careful about the build efficiency here. Um, there's no plus buy, but there's still a lot of optimization to be done for how you. Oh, I don't like opening village uh, at all. It doesn't do anything for your deck. Yeah. You can get the village later. Um, so what I'm saying is like, I want to add a gainer, whether that's. Um, The board's kind of awkward in that there's no buy, but I really want to add a workshop because I want, like, villages, militia, smithy, throne room. If you don't have the draw, you can get punished pretty hard here. Yeah, I agree. Workshop seems good. And I also want to, like, emphasize for the players, like, unless, like, the village split is, like, important, which it isn't here, like don't open village because all the village does is it just is you just draw another card to replace the village that you can make more out of your opening yeah village is a useful card but only in the sense that like it lets you play more terminals but if you don't have multiple terminals in your deck it's just a pure cantrip um there's other situations where like it, especially with menagerie um if there's a way on board um, then sometimes opening village is okay because like you'll play it as the way uh, until you need to play it as a village. So it's sort of an edge case. Um, but here, like I really, really want a workshop because I want to keep adding all these four dollar engine components. Um, you know, I, I want to be playing a workshop to be adding a smithy, adding a village, maybe even get two workshops in the deck. I think that might be fine. Um, or maybe just the throne to throne the workshop. Uh, throning, throning the workshop's probably fine. Yeah, I think throning, that just gives you more flexibility. Yeah, so that gives you the option to add, like, a village and a smithy each turn plus whatever you buy, yeah. or add in, like, a throne in a village, uh, you know, add in some merchants. It also helps with actions. Yeah, if you... If you don't build a fairly strong deck here, even with no plus buy. It's going to be really hard to province at the end when you're getting militia hit every turn. Um, yeah, like, for sure. Like, you're going to need... Like, getting hit by militia to get back up to an eight, a five-card hand, like, you need two villages, or a village and a smithy in your starting hand just to get back to where you were with the five-card hand. Yeah. Um, and due to that, like adding merchants for payload seems reasonable, I guess. I think so. Regardless, I, I really want, I don't, I don't want gold. Gold is not great for the deck. Just add a workshop. A workshop can just gain you merchants with, for cantrip. Yeah, payload. I agree. Like, I think you don't actually really need a gold here. Like, I want like merchants and one silver and then a militia for payload and then you can just draw a lot with village smithy let's have yep. like a workshop in there yeah i think that's the games. ideal the ideal deck is having uh, like four merchants smithy silver that'll get you the eight dollars you need you need no more than eight dollars in this deck if you can draw it consistently um and then just keep using the workshop to add villages smithies throne rooms um, and having a sentry in there is really nice too in order to be able to sift uh, past some green cards too yeah yeah but like these decks like I don't want any gold in my deck yeah Divstret hasn't been going about it exactly how I wanted to but like Gabriel's just now adding their first trasher so I still think Divstret's just like miles ahead yeah, and Chapel is rarely a card that you 
opening. So I don't know why Didistra didn't just trash their chapel. There's no reason to hold on to it now. Like, you've already thinned your deck. Yeah. Um, a little bit of a century. I'd probably add another century there. Um, instead of a gold, like, you can already hit eight. You don't need another gold. Um, yeah, that's the thing. Like, money, like, money is good, but, like, it's useless when you don't have to buy. Yes. Yeah. So. And this like, isn't a money deck. You don't need... Uh, to up your money density, you know, once you have eight dollars, if you can draw the deck consistently, like that's all you need. You don't need to be worrying about like, oh well, if I keep adding more golds, I'll increase my chance of hitting eight. The way you increase your chance of hitting eight is by having deck control throughout the greening process. Like, assume you just had one workshop and no throne room, you could add a village and a smithy every other turn. And if you're provincing every turn, like, you'll be adding two provinces and two draw over the course of two turns. So, like, just with one non-throned workshop, you can add the overdraw necessary to keep up with the greening. Yep. And if you had a throned workshop, then you can add, like, a smithy and a village each turn. It'll give you an additional overdraw beyond the ones you needed to keep up with the province. So you can, like, increase your deck consist consistency while greening, if you're doing that. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, Didistrat's got a pretty commanding lead here, but the deck, again, doesn't have the deck control. It doesn't have any draw... So Didistrit's kind of relying on, like, well, I need to find two golds and a silver equivalent to hit province. And if they don't, then they're going to miss, like, here. Although Didistrit knows that they have province in the... Well, I know Didistrit has province in the next hand, so that's nice. Um, so they're going to miss here, but they're going to hit it next turn, so... Yep. I don't even think you need to duchy dance at this point for Didistrit. You have nine point lead. So just add like a sentry here for deck control. I mean, I've kind of given up on the village smithy workshop stuff. So I'd probably just add a sentry here for Didistrit. Because sentry is some deck control through sifting. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, adding a gold's not going to do anything good for the deck compared to a century. Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, I want... I want no gold, like, as before. <laughs> a silver, a militia, four merchants, like, that's all the payloads you need. Yep. Yeah, and that's two stop cards rather than... No. Three in the best case scenario of having gold militia. Yeah. yeah, I think there was a question of whether to play that century or not. It was probably okay, but I mean, there was definitely a question of whether to play that century or not. Yeah. But yeah, did a stretch just like. Exhibit exhibit A and B the last two games. Opening chapel is good, even if you don't have the five two, it's still good. Like yeah. for Gabriel, um, just because you have a certain amount of money doesn't mean you need to spend all the money. Um, so just because chapel costs two doesn't mean like you shouldn't open it. In base games, like you almost always open chapel if if it's there. Um, Hard to come up with a situation where you don't in a base game. Yeah, I certainly can't think of any easily. Um, like, even on this board where Sentry is there, which is the next best trasher, like, you still just open Sentry Chapel. There's no other two costs in base that are good. Are there even any other two costs in base? I don't think there are. Yeah, I mean, the only I think oh, the no. only other yeah, two I wouldn't costs open, are... Like, moat. Yeah, moat and cellar. So yeah, neither of those are like great cards. I mean, moat is fine. Cellar, you might you want one or two of those when there's no trashing, but please. Yeah, but it. like chapel being in the kingdom, like almost negates the need for either of those two cards. 
Yeah. Like their purpose in the deck is pretty much handled if Chapel is there. Yeah, another thing is that they need to correct it. I just realized it's kind of on me for not catching this earlier, but they have ban and dislike lists on, and one of them has Vassal disliked. Oh, that's pretty funny that Vassal came up in the first two games, considering it's dislike. Yeah, I'm going to go like. Um, oh, popping to is there some, about this. These are some interesting dislike lists. Yeah, I mean, um, most of the cards, if Vasa wasn't there, I would have let it slide, but it is. So, sorry, what were you gonna, what were you gonna post in the? I'm just gonna tell them to turn off dislike lists. Um, uh, uh, is there a problem with having? Yeah, Are by the rules, to? you're not if in a base only game. You don't have ban and dislike list respected. Uh, um, that makes sense because if you were playing base only, um, and you had ban and dislike, you can almost cook the board. Not quite, but you can come pretty close to cooking the board. You know, you ban five cards. <laughs> If each player bans five cards and dislikes another five cards, you can almost cook the board between two players to have the same board. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I don't think it's too big of an issue with Vassal being the only card um, that could be disliked and then showed up twice anyways, so kind of funny. Um, yeah, I've kind of stopped paying attention to this game just because Divistrin had such a huge lead. Yeah, the other banned cards are pretty funny. Um, Bandit Fort being disliked is interesting. Um, I think mean, I get yeah. all the other ones. Uh, I guess I even get Bandit Fort for a different reason. But we don't even know who's banning which one or disliking which ones. Yeah. Venture's funny though. <laughs> like, like, why dislike Venture? Just because it's weak and boring, I guess. Like Transmute. It is weird to have a dislike list populated, but not a ban list. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean. Like, there are some players who just will only put cards on their dislike lists, and I don't really understand those players. Like, if you maybe they don't want to alter the game, to, but like, dislike lists still alter the game. And yeah. Yeah. I think like the most prominent player who does that is Wandering Winder, who doesn't ban any cards but does use dislike list. And Wait, so, I, I guess really to strange. each their own. Um, I mean, you know. I don't even he wants understand. to play the game with all the cards, but he's willing to, you know, put five onto dislike just to have them a little less often, but still wants every card to come up some amount. Yep, so it looks like it's two to two now. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they saw my message. Card list. But if not, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Are you the mod for this one, or you just have access no, to all the channels? I, all the mods have access to all channels. Ah, gotcha. They think it's silver, but it's clearly based. Yeah, it's definitely not silver. Um, maybe one of them had a silver sub at one point, but it's certainly expired. Yeah, I mean, if you... Um,
I'm gonna get a little water. There, one break back in a moment. All right, yeah, I'm back. Looks like they have it. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like play order is good. All right. Yeah, there's a. Uh, Base kingdoms have been pretty similar. Um, I guess they've had some differences, but getting a lot of a lot of repeat cards. I mean, here. that's just the thing with base set. Um, so I honestly think that base is better than silver, um, just what to just what bot they were playing with, because like silver, like it has more expansions, but like it. Base at least has a second edition, unlike most of the. Yeah, so like, <laughs> if you have like Ghost Ship and Ambassador, <laughs> you can just be really sad. Uh, yeah. But we learned our lesson from last game that Century Chapel is a good opening. <laughs> yep. All I mean, right. I think they've also learned their lesson, or I hope they have, that mine is not a good opening. Yeah, so like, the problem here is that there's no village, and council room's the only buy, so I really want to use my terminal space on chapel at the beginning and then council room later. Um, so yeah, I think on 5-2, century chapel seems like the clear open. On 4-3, it's a little harder. I think it's probably silver chapel. Um, yeah, silver chapel seems fine. I mean, Vassal is fine with Sentry, but I think you want to have your deck under control and more actions in it first. Um, yeah, I I think I could be convinced of, like, Vassal Chapel instead, but you're going to run into situations where they collide, which will be sad, so yeah, probably I just Chapel, like so I'm going to skip Vassal. And then um, Vassal for, like, if it be like, or if you, really, if you fail to hit five after you have a fair number of actions in the deck. Um, yeah. Like. So yeah, on this board, I definitely want to open Chapel um, and Century if I can, and then get the deck thin, and then just get a council room for buy mainly um, at some point, and then just like slam wabs and golds as much as I can until I have $16 yeah. in the deck and control. And I have two problems with what Gabriel just did there. Um, one, play the chapel instead of mine. And two, you generally turn the silver into a gold instead of a copper into a silver. Yeah, especially because you still have the chapel around, so like you could chapel off the, the copper. Yeah, but also play but the chapel instead of the mine. When the person, the problem is that there's a mine in the deck. That's what the problem is. <laughs> really, the there's mine some... just shouldn't be in the deck. Like I might even consider trashing it. Yeah, like just kill the mine right now. Like, 
like the mind's not not being helpful. Um, all right. Uh, so did Didastrit get? Who has the sentry? Didastrit has the sentry. Oh, not. Uh, I don't like council right. rooms here. I think you want labs for your draw, given that there are no villages. Yeah, only add the council room once you're generating like. Ten or more dollars in a turn, and yeah. you need plus buy. Yeah, once you get to that point, but like, yeah, council rooms are really only useful for buys. Um, yeah, because you're gonna be drawing stuff dead a lot. The this bureaucrat is just not helpful at all. It's yeah. adding a silver to the top of the deck. It's a terminal, and you need to be playing council room as your terminal later. Um, yeah, I'd say you kill the bureaucrat with the chap. Although I guess. <laughs> yeah, just did a strike. Does it have a chapel, which is another problem? Yeah, they have the sentry, but once your deck is operating, sentry just is really sad for trashy because you just don't see the bad cards often enough. Um, yeah, and I do not like them. the problems there. Yeah, so yeah, no, 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 no. Problems. Yeah. Build up to double here for sure. Um, just keep once you know, get thin, add labs, add golds, add a council point, room for buy, get to 16. Yeah, and, and at this point, there. I want a council room for Gabriel. Like, there's just yeah, they have so much money and no buy to use it on. Like, you they're gonna get to a point room. where, like. Maybe you don't build to double province. Maybe you just build to 13 and you go like province lab, province lab, province lab every turn. I can see that instead yeah. of building to 16. Yeah, I mean, I'd probably build up to 16, but yeah, I can see province lab every turn as well. Yeah, I think those are kind of like the two options is you either build to 16 and hope you have enough overdraw that the deck doesn't fall apart after doubling twice. Yeah, I mean, or with the council build... room, you have a decent amount of draw, and I think you just put in your labs and try to win the split. Yeah, I think, I think it's just game and state happens. dependent. Like, when I'm at $13 effectively, like, what do I decide to do at that point? Do I spend one more turn building, or do I, you know, go for provinces at that so, point? I, it's just a balance, and I think you can just figure that out situationally which is um, the better path to go down yeah and i wanted the mine trash with the chapel there yeah not trashing it just like it was there just kill it <laughs> like there's no problem with like we dislike the mine but you've already used the mine enough like you don't need to be using it more you have other terminals you need to be playing instead yeah all right so it's going down to the wire um I like Gabriel's position better, but it's hard to tell whether you're going to... I think you're just going to have to buy a duchy here for Gabriel. Yeah. I mean, a province will win, but you don't know but that. But they don't know that. <laughs> yeah, they don't know that. So just chapel away the mine um, and buy a duchy, I think, is the No, play. don't play the mine. You don't need to. <laughs> yeah, kill the mine. Uh, so Gabriel going the aggressive line and not following the penultimate province rule, which... Yeah, that's too risky. Yeah, I think that was pretty risky. If Didastrat had eight here, you just lose, even though, like, I think your deck's better under control. Um, so Gabriel most likely getting the win here. Yeah, there it is. Um, so again, opening chapel... Three for three, the player who opened chapel won. So I think we're, uh, developing a database of cards yeah. and their statistics and what cards yeah. opening are good. <laughs> yeah. Um, now I'm curious. I want to go to the card stat page and see what the stats say for only player opening chap. Yeah, I mean, I hope that, like, I hope the stats only include people of high mu and it doesn't happen where only too often in high-level games where only one player goes to chapel. 
Yeah. I mean, you get games where, like, there's Masquerade on the board or Go and things like that where it's, like, it's debatable whether to get Chapel or not or, like, Goat Herd. With the expansions, there's a lot more cases where Chapel opening is not necessarily optimal. Um, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, the stats also include, like, if a high Mew player is playing a low Mew player, like, that'll still be in the stats. So you'll um, pick up some things. That's true, um, but, like... If a high-level player is playing a low-level player, then of course, yeah. Then there are lots of factors into the high level of what player wins. Yeah, yeah. So like, the only player opening has a raw win rate of sixty percent, but the only player gaining has a raw win rate of fifty-one percent. So I think there's a lot of games between high-level players where, like, it's debatable if only one player gets it. But, like, in low-level games, like, when players are in, it's just, in base yeah. only, can you filter it down to, like, base only games? Probably not. Oh, uh, I don't think the stats have enough data for that, just because, like, very few high-level players play base only. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. and I was surprised by the number of high-level players who played in base space. Yeah, I uh, I did skip it, but I know there was yeah. a lot of very strong players who played it. Yeah, I also skipped it. Um, I mean, not even, like, right now I'm skipping uh, on all these tournaments because of time commitment, but, like, base space it happened at a time where I could have played, but I chose not to because it was just, I don't like base only. Yeah, I remember Jane Nails and Burning Skull at a match, and it was like 2-2, and it was over in like 15 minutes, just because all the games were like, completely straightforward, and like, there was no thought at all to any of the kingdoms. <laughs> the match was literally over in like 20 minutes. Yep. Um, so anyways, back to this game. Um, there's no village, and there's no buy. So, um, yeah. Uh, like, 5-2 again, I think Century Chapel would be great. Um, no Village makes, like, the Witch look a lot less appealing. Especially, like, if your opponent has Chapel and Sentry, potentially. Um, so I think I still want the Chapel to thin. Maybe open with a Poacher Chapel, something like that. Yeah, that seems and reasonable. And then, once you're thin, get a Workshop to just start slamming Merchants. Like, I want like, seven merchants in my deck. Or, sorry, six merchants. If you have, like, six merchants and a silver, then that can get you to the eight that you need to consistently province. So, something like that. Yeah, I think they're, they're both provincing pretty early here. Um, who has the chapel? Gabriel has the chapel, so I'm going to put odds on Gabriel, because Gabriel... Yeah, I mean, Gabriel, I think Gabriel has always been the one to get the chapel. There was one game, uh, the game where Dennis Red got the, the chapel witch opening, Gabriel was oh. a bit delayed in getting the chapel. Right. Um, yeah, I, I really don't want any terminals in here besides chapel and workshop. Yeah, I agree, like, I'd skip out on Smithy here. Yeah, you're just going to draw stuff dead too often. Yeah, like, I just want to get really thin rough chapel and use Sentry to sift through your green, and then use Merchant in the single silver for payload. Yeah. Yep, just get, like, as many Merchants as you can, and, like, one or two silvers. Um, I can see having the second silver if you're not reliably drawing your deck. Um, just because if you get a turn where you draw, like, six merchants and no silver, you can't really do anything. Yeah, that's so fair. I could see having a second silver. Um, but if you're reliably drawing your deck, then there's not really a need for it. Um, just later in the game, once you start greening, you might need that if your deck's not consistent. Um, just because you're going to have a chapel. Well, I guess if you get a century later, maybe you get rid of your chapel. But you'll have at least, like, the silver and the workshop and some green. So, once you're at, like, three provinces, you're not guaranteed to draw your deck. Even if those are your only swap cards. Um... 
But yeah, they both they both started greening pretty early. Um, this is certainly the kingdom where maybe building too much is a little too slow, but I think with chapel you can you can do it fast enough that it's not a concern. Um, and that like you send down, and by like turn five you're adding like two merchants, almost every turn, and uh, maybe by like turn six you're adding two merchants every turn. And you build up, so like by turn like nine, you're ready to pretty consistently start provincing every turn. And that's kind of around the time frames that like you province like turn 10, 11, 12, 13, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for Gabriel here, clearly crash everything but the province. Um, again, these, these decks should be thin by now, but they're, they're yeah. not. I don't like keeping the coppers, and I don't like getting the cellar. Yeah, it's not the cellars. A, it's not a stop card, but the board has no draw. I mean, it decreases no your hand draw. size. Yeah. And with chapel, I mean, like, you just don't need the cellar. Yeah, there's only terminal draw here, so like the chapel is just really sad a lot of the time. All right, pretty pretty close game though. Um again, like for Gabriel, if if like these coppers are out of the way, we have a much better chance of getting the For either of them, really. Um, the witch is proving pretty annoying. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. There might be room for the witch in, in these decks. Yeah, there might be room. Um, so, I mean, with chapels, I don't really think that. Yeah, it's just like if you have the chapel in the workshop in your deck, like. If your opponent's playing which, like, you have to not put it in workshop occasionally in order to trash, but it's probably still fine. Yeah. Nice. And yeah, so that's the sad part about missing the silver is that Gabriel needed to find a silver, but is missing out on, on some payload there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, these decks are really, really limping, limping to the finish line now. Um, they're just choking a lot on the green in the deck, and they just can't, the decks can't handle it consistently. Dinistrit's looking in a pretty comfortable position if they can get if they can get another province. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I mean at this point, like Dinistrit seems ahead. Um, I don't. I mean, I like Gabriel's deck more, but I think it points me just kind of just putting uh, Dinistrit in a place where they just have an advantage. Um, yeah, I mean, even if you duchy here, like, you're getting pretty darn close to half VP. Yeah, I mean, Gabriel needs to, like, hit... Yeah, so 
I'd say just grab the first the and the copper, yeah. Uh, yeah. And again, still not, still not getting eight. Yeah, I mean, you kind of have to get you here to keep up. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if Didastrike gets the last province, it's pretty much over. Oh, I didn't even realize Didastrike got two witches. That seems like two mm, Yeah, I don't like the second witch at all. Yeah, I mean, one, seen... there's some justification for, but two seems pretty, pretty tough. Yeah, I just don't have the terminal space for that. Like, maybe if you didn't have that witch, you would hit province here. If the witch were a silver, oof, <laughs> that's, a, that's a hand. Uh, yeah. Discard everything for, for Gabriel. No, don't keep the chapel. Uh, yeah, I would have discarded everything. Um, like, you pretty much have to get the last two provinces here as Gabriel. That would just be like trying my hardest to like squeeze out any chance of getting the last two provinces. Yeah, like I wouldn't worry about like, I would just go for it. Take a province if I had the opportunity. Yeah, unfortunately Gabriel's deck just... They opened the chapel, but just weren't trashing enough with it. Yeah, and now and I now think the Gabriel... should be long gone. Yeah, and Gabriel will need to get her duchy here. Um, but yeah, this game should not be lasting 21 turns. Yeah, definitely not. I think, like, 14, probably. Maybe less than that. Yeah. I mean, obviously, duchy dancing can make a difference. Um, but I think, like, 15 probably at the most, ignoring any duchy dancing. I think this is an easy duchy, yeah. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think you have to, but you're still in a rough spot because you still pretty much need, like, the last two provinces anyway. Yeah, I mean, if Didistra gets kind of get the last... Um, oh, definitely take Duchy there for district for sure. I mean, it won't make a difference regardless, like, if Gabriel gets the last two provinces, they Well, but win. then, so getting Duchy there prevents Gabriel from going Duchy province for the win. So, like, if oh, Gabriel had, if Didastrut had gone duchy, then Gabriel for sure needs last two provinces. Yeah, now if, Didistrut has won now, pretty much. Yeah, if Didistrut had dudded and Gabriel was able to go, like, duchy province, then they could have won. I mean, it didn't happen, obviously, but it was a possibility. Yeah. But yeah, it looks yes. like they're going to tie the match. Um, yep. So yeah, I think I like uh, Gabriel, oh, Gabriel didn't open chapel. Uh, Gabriel opened, I missed that. Gabriel opened Merchant Smithy and, and got the chapel turn three. That makes more sense. So I was yeah. wondering why the deck didn't get thin faster. Um, yeah, I mean, like, even, like, getting it in your second shuffle, like, that's still pretty good, just not as good as open it. Yeah, because they didn't get to play it until turn five, so. Yeah, I mean, and they only got to play it turn five because they got lucky. Yeah, they played it turn five, and then they played it turn eight, and, like, by that point, it was pretty far, far along in the game. Oh. Yeah, I mean, did a stretch can... Just buy estates from here on out. I don't well, even well, think you province. need to bother buying province. estates. <laughs> this will be province anyways, but yeah, you can do it. All right. That's the match. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they tied it. Um, I think definitely these boards you want to open chapel. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, good luck to the players and the rest of the season. Yep. All right. Thanks for commentating. Yep. Thanks for hosting. No problem. Bye. Yeah, thanks for watching.